In 2021, you, though, you did say that inflation was transitory. Do you, do you regret saying that now? I regret saying it was transitory. Oh, um, it has come down, but I think huh. transitory means uh, a few weeks or months to most most people. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and instead, it's been three years, the entire duration of the Joe Biden administration. Yeah, so thank you for that. <laughs> She also discussed the purchasing power of Americans under Joe Prices Biden. Prices are higher than when President Biden came into office. What do you say to the family that's having to use their credit card to pay for food or possibly could lose their home because of the debt that they've accumulated with the higher prices? Well, I, I think the single most important metric to judge how households are doing is their spending power, mm. their real wages or real earnings, namely their earnings adjusted for inflation. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we did that yesterday. Mm-hmm. It wasn't pretty. No, it was uh, it was down like four percent, right? Yes, where it was purchasing power was up eight percent under Trump. Right. Um, I got some more fun facts for her. Credit card debt is, uh, uh, she said, is a normalization uh, rather than a, uh, a disturbing new trend. Mm. Okay, uh-huh. a normalization. Yeah, that's interesting. A, term scary to hear. Yeah, <laughs> when when someone like. When someone like the Secretary of the Treasury says that, mm-hmm. you know it's even worse. Yeah. Because they're not going to say as bad as it really is. Um, credit mm. scores are down. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, now they, Wages are down. Yeah. Credit scores are down. Yeah. Your, your credit, Debt is up. Yeah. Your credit score was actually lower. I talked about this on, on my YouTube channel, as a matter of fact, where they actually were lower back in 2008 than they are now. Now I think they're down hmm. to seven twelve something like that average, and during two thousand eight, they're in the crisis, their housing crisis, and everything. Six eighty two is where we bottomed out. Wow! So mm. it could get worse, and it's going to if credit card debt is up. Yes. <sighs> she was also asked when the economy is going to improve. Oh, cool. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. But down. if you go back and look at month over month, December, January, and February, it showed an increase of inflation. Is inflation coming back? Well, look, inflation is down um, almost two-thirds from the high uh, it reached in uh, 2022, and the trend is clearly a favorable one. Um, I wouldn't look at, (laughs) expect this to be a smooth path month to month, but the trend is uh, clearly favorable. That said, um, President Biden's Uh top priority (laughs) is addressing the issue of high costs that Concerned so many Americans. Yeah. Okay. How is it huh. favorable? <laughs> it's still know. going up, woman. Yeah, I don't know. And it's up over eighteen percent since he took office. Uh, but again, she said it's not going to be a smooth transition. Yeah. I so it's going to keep going up. Is what this. she's really yeah. telling us. Wow. It's going to keep going up. So Oops. get used to it. Uh, Just get used to it. At least here's the thing. It's not forty percent. Thank you. We're not. We're not experiencing. You know, like hyperinflation of 40 or 50 percent. So just consider yourself lucky and shut up. (laughs) Vice President Kamala Harris was asked about the high cost of rent across the nation. And uh, here's what she said. Rent is up in like 47 of the 50 biggest cities in the country. Like, how do you fight (laughs) the bad vibes? And then how do you beat Donald Trump to such vibes. economic headwinds. Mm, no one wants to hear a econ lecture, and I appreciate that. Oh, you could we do that. We have actually corrected a lot of what was heading in a really bad direction during COVID no, that's in terms of unemployment, true, for example. Over 10 million people were unemployed. We've oh created gosh, over 14 million unreal. new jobs. No, unemployment is at re- historic record lows, somewhere around <sighs> less than 4% unemployment. Wages have now outpaced inflation. Those are the facts. No, okay. Those are not facts. Those are lies that they keep telling. <laughs> they they keep claiming the fourteen or fifteen million new jobs created. That is untrue. It's a lie. And the Washington Post, the New York Times, everybody, even on their side, <laughs> has Admitted it. Yeah. It's a lie. Stop saying it. And speaking of 2008, did you see how she kind of mixed in that, look, it could have been so much worse if we didn't get in there and do what we did. Yes. 